All right. I want each of you to close your eyes and think about um, an acronym for the word team. What does team mean to you? Is there anything that stands out specifically that you would think about when you think of team? As I thought about this, I came up with um, together, everyone achieves more. So when I think of a team, I think of um, everyone working together. And so to, when, when you work together as a team, everyone as a whole achieves more. So what is teamwork? Teamwork is the concept of people working together as a team for one specific purpose under the same value. Um, team, teamwork takes greater interpersonal skills in order to work together with others. Um, it also involves the joint efforts of a number of people to achieve a common goal. So why is teamwork important? Um, teams are part of everyone's life. I'm sure you can all think of a time where you've been part of a team. Um, there's the team of marriage, the team of, of being in a family. Um, there's, of course, there's sports teams. And then, for you guys, there's your team of the Diane Colonel Kearns Chapter 13 trustee office. So, um, I really like this graph, or this chart. Um, it shows that when we have respect for each person and have a relationship with all of our coworkers, we each gain a strong bond in the office. So, as you can see, in, it says um, respect and relationship. When we have both of those um, for each person and a relationship with everybody, then we gain that strong bond. That's necessary to have um, a good working team. So there's some secrets to successful teamwork. Really, they're not secrets, but they're basic things that can help us um, do better with teamwork. Um, we need to have trust with one another. We need to have accountability. Um, we need to have open communication. So we need to create and maintain a climate of trust and open and honest communication with everybody. Um, this helps promote the exchange of uh, feedback, and it allows us to listen to what other members um, of our team have to say. There's also um, shared responsibility. This allows team members to feel equality um, and it helps them to feel equally responsible for the performance of the team and its outcome. So it's not like they're um, stuck on one person. Everybody shares a responsibility. Um, and then there's also follow-up. Um, I really like this one because it's important for us to not only be communicating with each other, but to make sure that we have um, follow-up meetings on a regular basis for feedback and input on projects or assignments. Um, and it helps us also be able to give advice and to give help if, if anyone needs it. So having those follow-up meetings can help us be able to do that. Um, so I really like this quote. It says, the achievements of an organization are the results of the combined effort of each individual. Notice that it doesn't say, um, it doesn't just say the efforts of each individual. It says the combined efforts. So it takes everyone in the group's efforts to be able to um, get those achievements for that organization. So what are the benefits of teamwork? Um, it improves the, the working environment as a whole. Um, it keeps communication lines open and consistent. It relieves stress and it reduces errors. Um, along with team benefits, an individual can also benefit from teamwork. Um, they can gain appreciation and recognition for um, the work that they do. Um, they might get a sense of belonging, like they feel like they're part of the business because they were able to um, contribute their part of the work. And then they also gain a sense of responsibility, knowing that what they did helped promote um, that, um, that part of the business. So, I want to take a little, just a minute or two just to do a quick self-evaluation. These are some characteristics and questions um, that can help you evaluate yourself um, as an effective team member. So, are you supportive to achieve the results? Do you avoid winning or looking good at the expense of others? Are you open to the ideas of others? Do you share information and ideas? 
and do you support the contribution of others? If you can't answer yes to, to all of these questions, then you might want to work on those questions that you can't answer yes to. Um, it not only will benefit you, but it will benefit the, your business and the teams that you work on in the future and especially now in your business. So um, we're going to watch this really quick video. Teamwork alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. So along with um, teamwork may come um, conflict. You guys may be thinking, <laughs> we never have conflict in our office, but I'm sure you do. Um, so there's um, a lot of things that have to go with conflict, and typically people tend to ignore conflict. Um, because they have fear of it, um, and their fear leads to them avoiding it. Most people believe conflict does not belong in a workplace. However, most organizations use conflict as a creative force. So instead of avoiding conflict and fearing it, they sometimes, um, pr not promote it, but allow it in their workplace as, so that it can help them um, be more creative and have that um, area to move in. Um, so there's a couple things that um, cause conflict. Um, there's poor communication, there's power seeking, um, there's the lack of openness. So when we close our minds and we don't think about um, what others might think or whatever, that can cause conflict. Um, there's competition, frustration, and there's many other things that can cause, cause it. These are just a couple that I thought of. Um, so how can we deal with this conflict when it, when it arises? Um, we need to meet the conflict head on. It doesn't help us to beat around the bush and to avoid it. Avoiding the conflict can cause even more problems. So um, then there's communication. Um, plan times to communicate more frequently. If you guys are having conflict, then it's important that you communicate more frequently so that you don't um, pass over someone that's having a problem that isn't feeling comfortable about talking to you about it. Um, we also, um, it's important to make sure that we're honest with each other about the concerns that we have. Um, and then also, it's important to agree to disagree. Um, sometimes healthy disagreement can build better decisions on certain topics. Um, so some of the benefits of conflict are increased, increased creativity, clarity. Um, clarity forces people to clarify their views. So. Um, when someone is having conflict or whatever, um, if they can focus on um, 
the clarity, then they're able to talk, um, sorry, they're able to clarify their views and get that more across. Um, there's also constructive social change. Um, a ben another benefit is opportunity. It gives the people opportunity to test their capacities. Um, and then development and organization. Um, conflict can help the development of group and organization cohesion. So um, teamwork requires constant work. This isn't something that um, is like a finite project, but it's more of a process of continuous improvement and innovation. So it's something that we need to be working on constantly. You may feel like, oh, we just did a team project. Oh, we're good. You know, there's no, no, nothing we have to worry about. My team work, check that off. I'm done. Um, but no, this is something that we need to constantly be working at and making sure that we are um, always doing our best to be part of the, that team and fulfill those responsibilities. So um, I really like this. This quote was from the movie. It said, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So as we do this, we need, as we are part of teams, we need to remember that um, it's more important to be able to go far with other people rather than to go fast alone. So I want you guys to think about um, what you are going to do today. What are you going to do today to commit to being a better team member in your office and in your business? Um, are there things that you can improve on? Are there things that maybe you need to work on with other people? Um, think about something that you're going to do today and commit to doing that. 